This is a little instructional video on the Airtech TIF and THF filter. The THF and the TIF both can come in a 3 inch inlet and outlet or a 2 inch inlet and outlet. The thing that I want to show you about this filter today is to always make sure because it comes in the form of a disc and in the form of a screen that you get the inlet and the outlet water correctly. When you're dealing with the screen, your inlet water, the dirty water inlet needs to come from the inside of the filter. So in this case right here, you could either have an inlet from the bottom, you could bring your dirty water in from the bottom, or as you can tell right here, this is coming to the center cavity of the filter, you could bring your inlet water here. You only have one outlet choice, and that would be right here. If it's a disc, the dirty water has to come on the outside of the disc, and the clean water goes out. So in that case, on a, when you're using a disc, you only have one inlet, and you have two outlets, either that one or this one. Just because the arrow, directional arrow says one way, always double check whether it's a disc or screen because they're two separate ones. The other thing about our filter is, is it will come with a quarter inch hole threaded, two of them. It'll also come with a three quarter inch pipe thread hole on top. So you'll have to drill that out, but this is where you're going to put your flushing valve. Use a quarter inch drill bit here. Don't affect your threads, but drill through to be able to get the water through it on both of these. And you'll have to use a quarter inch to a three eighths inch drill bit right here to be able to drill through the cavity to get the water to come up. But the pipe threads are already installed for you. On this filter right here, because of having your, uh, your, your ports here, you can put two pressure gauges here. Those two pressure gauges would show you your inlet pressure and your outlet pressure. So while your filter was running, you could determine, because of the pressure loss across it, how dirty your filter was. The other thing that's nice about with these ports is, is it allows us to be able to install the, the filter in an upright position like this, to where your canister sitting here like this. Makes it a lot easier to clean this filter when it's in the upright position, um, because you're picking everything up versus trying to get up underneath it if it was installed in this fashion. Then everything would be coming up like this. When you install this filter in the upright fashion like this, you need to do a couple of things. You need to be able, when you shut the system down to clean the filter, you need to be able to evacuate the inlet water and evacuate the outlet water and evacuate any air that got caught in the top side of the dome. So when we go to clean this filter, as you can see, when the dome sits like this and we pull the dome off, all the dirty water sheds off. But we still have dirty water from this point to this point. This is what we call our shoulder. We need to be able to get the dirty water from this point to this point evacuated. The way we do that is we can either put a little ball valve here and a little ball valve here and open them both up when the, shist when the system's been shut down and it will drain that water all the way down to down here. So when we have our element in, our, our screen, if we left that dirty water right here and we pulled this out, all that dirty water would go inside to here. And then we would have dirty water downstream where we don't want it. So by installing a valve here, here, or installing a valve in your PVC line here and here, when you shut the system down, it'll drain everything from this point to this point completely out so you never have a problem when you pull your element. 